Freedom Fighters coming back at you with a 4th of July special. Well, I hope you're having a good one. I was thinking back to last year's video. You know, can you believe that, man? This is a anniversary 4th of July video. I can't believe another year has gone by. The American populace has done nothing and allowed it all to continue. I mean, imagine that. You know, surprise, surprise. But, yeah, I mean, I was talking about in that last year's video about how I don't really celebrate the 4th anymore. And, you know, the big point of that video was that, uh, you know, we were discussing a conversation I had where I ended up saying that, you know, I hate America. And I said that I hate this country. And, you know, I didn't mean it. It was something I said in, you know, the heat of the moment. But, you know, I heard this quote recently that I'm sure you've heard it before, but it's, you know, love thy country, but hate the government or vice versa. You know, it's either hate the government, but love thy country. And what I lost sight of, what I forgot was that somewhere, you know, someone somewhere is a, you know, Afghan patriot or something like that. You know, he doesn't necessarily believe, you know, what his government does or what they uh how they rule the country but he still loves his country you know i actually watched this other channel of this cuban immigrant that goes around and does all this stuff in america and how he talks about you know how great it is and uh that perspective you know is definitely uh cool to look at i watched this other channel from a north korean uh, defector and you know same thing uh, he talks about you know he's he loves his country you know at the same time look at all the stuff going on you're you know he's being ruled by a dictator and there's no freedoms yet he still loves his country so you know that's what we have to get by you know there's a lot going on in this country but we can still love America you know and there's North Korean patriots and Venezuelan patriots and all that even though their countries are pretty much lost and are in shambles because of the way they're run you know it's sad that it even got that far where I let them take that away from me you know take away my patriotism um, because things have gotten so bad in this country that you know it made me feel that way but, you know, I watched this episode of Blonde in the Belly of the Beast. I don't know if you ever watch her. But she did this podcast with the Devin Stack of Black Pilled. And, uh, I mean, that was a great interview, uh, podcast, whatever. But, um, you know, I'll probably post that so you guys can go watch it and check it out. I might do a whole another separate video on that alone. Because there were so many good points in that video. I mean, you definitely have to check that out. But, you know, that's one of the things she said. She was like, you know, she was so patriotic and that she just doesn't care anymore. And it's over. And and she mentions uh, Jared. He's another one of the guys that shall not be named on this platform. But, um, you know, this, he said the same thing. He's like, you know, I used to believe we could turn the tables. I used to believe you know, we could go back and save it. He no longer believes that anymore. He's like, it, it's over. And, you know, people have noticed that change in me as well. You know, same thing. I used to be Mr. Patriotic, you know, and people are like, you know, what's up with that? And I'm just like, well, what's there to be patriotic about anymore? Uh, this is literally, you're watching the fall of the nation and no one seems to want to do anything about it. So, yeah, I mean, you got the Supreme Court just ruled that they can censor online speech. Um, you know, there's no such thing as the First Amendment. They're shutting down their opponents, the media. They just shut down uh, Alex's show, the Info Show. You know, another place that can't be named. And it's not about, you know, Alex or what you think about him. It's just the fact that they're shutting it down think they shut down Steve Bannon's show they're locking him up Peter Navarro so they're taking out their opponents um you know Trump himself 
And again, it's not about Trump or whatever you think about him. It's about, you know, what they're doing and what they can do to you. So, yeah, locking up the uh, leading political opponent, shutting down the media, arresting dissenters. I mean, welcome to communism. You know, you're there. Welcome to a authoritarian rule. And you voted your way in it. You ain't going to vote your way out. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff going on, but, you know, hey, I'm trying to stay positive. I got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff coming up. So uh, if you're a new viewer, definitely stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe, share the content. And until the next one, you know what it always is. We are on our own. No one's coming to save us. So get right with God, because only God can save us. And have a good 4th of July. Freedom Fighters out.